Hello, we are going to be looking at the new image trace option in Adobe CS6. I'm going to show you uh, how to create a vector outline for garments and apparel. Uh, this can be used for catalogues, tech packs for sending to factories, mock-ups. Uh, so quite handy to know if you're into sort of um, graphics for fashion and stuff like that. So I've drawn um, a top not great but a rough sketch of a top and I've scanned it in and then opened it um, in Illustrator CS6. So the first thing I want to do is um, open my image trace option panel. So let's have a look. So image trace, there we go. And this is sort of um, the new panel you get here. Lots going on. Um, definitely recommend having a play about if you want to um, import images or illustrations, photographs, uh, there's lots of different things um, you can change so you can get really great quick results. So for this demonstration I want to create outlines, so keep it as an outline that I can um, edit later on. So along the top here you have lots of different options but the end one um, is outline, so I click on that. Right, yeah, doesn't look great to start with. So we're gonna have a little play around um, and see if we can clean it up. So I'm gonna increase the threshold to thicken up those lines. And there we go. And you've got lots of other options here, so you play with around with the paths, the corners, the noise, um, and you've got the stroke here. You want to make sure that if you're um, working with um, an outline, that you've got this box here ticked, which is strokes and not fill, um, because I want this just to be um, an outline that I can work with and edit, so I make sure that strokes is on. Um, once I'm roughly happy with that, um, I'm going to expand it so I can now edit those strokes. If I ungroup, then I can click on each path here, each line. I want to clean clean it up now so it's not all these wobbly lines and it, it looks really neat. Um, and the quickest way to do that, let's get rid of that line, is to Select the um, the image or your garment, and roughly using your ruler, ruler guys, drag to about halfway across, or you'd say halfway across is, and then along that line that you've just dragged, I'm going to add. Actually, first of all, I want to change the stroke of this because it's way too heavy. So if I just quickly, there we go knock it down to 0.5 yeah it's much clearer right now when we've got this ruler guide I'm going to add anchor point tool to every stroke along this that crosses this line all the way down Only take a few seconds, there we go, and then with the direct selection tool, right up to the ruler guide, there we go, delete one side. So now you've just got one side um, to edit, saving lots of time, and then you can just flip that um, so it's symmetrical. Copy and paste, and then yeah, flip it, which we'll do. So you want to start cleaning it up, so joining all the paths, so direct selection, both endpoints selected and then Apple J and then it joins them, you do the same this end, J and you just work your way through, um, you can, I've got unnecessary um, points in here so I can just 
delete anchor point and go through and real quickly clean it up. So save you watching me do that. I have prepared one. So it will eventually look like that. Nice and neat. It should only take you five minutes. Once you get the hang of it and you do it quite often, um, it takes no time at all. So let's get rid of that one. Just we'll select that, copy and paste it. Objects, transform, reflect, and then vertical. And then you just align it opposite side. There we go. Oops, I'm missing a the back of the neck here. Just add that in using the pen. Um, so I've got the basic outline here. I want to start adding detail, so stitch lines. Um, the seams and bits and bobs like that. I mean, you can have it sim simple, but usually you would add in some detail. So using the pen tool, I'm just going to go around where the stitches will be, and I want to go into open my sh stroke panel here and change that to dash line. And I've got it on two um, to keep the dashes quite small. I'm going to change the weight to three. It's not so heavy. There we go. And you can just go all the way around. And eventually, once you've done that, it will look like the one I prepared earlier. Like this. Uh, nice and simple and then you can once you've joined all your paths up you can fill it with patterns or swatches or colours um, but really really quick and easy guide there to creating vector outline for garments and apparel.